Hi Pisces, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading about your person, okay? And this is behind the scenes, and uh, yeah, behind the scenes and under the covers, all that kind of stuff here. <laughs> and um, let's get started here, Pisces, if you get a message here about your person, or for any cross-watchers, right, about you, the cross-watcher, or about whoever... Uh, Anyway, whoever is watching this reading, if you get a message, uh, please give a thumbs up, okay? Let's get into it here, you guys, and uh, let's see here, Pisces. I'm looking at this reading about your person, and uh, <clears throat> I just think that they are, you could have left them out, or they could have left you out, but I feel like it could, it could go either way. But I feel like your person here is, uh, maybe this is with you, the Nine of Cups is in their, their potential outcome here. And looking at their reading, looking at this reading, it looked like there was already an ending here, and maybe a breakup, of course. And uh, your person could have had a third party here, okay? Without saying, without it goes without saying here. Six of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, five of Wands, yeah, six of Swords, and the Devil, yeah, definitely. Let's see here, and uh, yeah, so. In the, uh, how they really feel about you, Pisces, is the King of Wands, and how uh, the underlying issues are the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's a truth here that has, uh, because in the root is the Ace of Swords. Somebody's, they're either having victory with somebody, or there is a truth here. I feel like there was a truth here that, you know, led to an ending. Ace of Swords, what, uh, what is hidden or what is unknown to you is judgment. So I feel like they're making a decision here, right? It could be for a second chance, judgment. And uh, their desires is the Eight of Wands. They want uh, change. It could be wanting passion, maybe. Sometimes this is passion. And uh, their fears, I mean, yeah, their fears here is... Uh, I'm sorry, is the Ten of Cups here, and their their main focus is the Empress, okay? Let's see here, and let's get started on this reading, Pisces. I feel like this could be a continuation uh, for at least the same Pisceans that I have been reading for. The bottom of the deck here is the Nine of Pentacles, Pisces, and, you know, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is, you know, it's usually somebody who is taking good care of themselves because they are single, right? And they're abundant and they are, you know, they're doing quite well for themselves. But their main focus is to take care of themselves, right? And to enjoy their vineyard and, you know, their exotic bird here because they have money here. Or they have financial stability. It doesn't always have to be, you know, great wealth, right? Let's get into it. The bottom of this deck is the High Priestess Pisces. And I feel like this is you. This could be, uh, it could be a couple other things, but let's get into the reading here. And the devil is their current, their overall energy. Can you imagine? So if they are not a Capricorn, then they are just, you know, the damn devil here. Okay, hey, let's get a couple cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle and uh, one more shuffle. And this is going to be for Pisces person here. Uh, yeah, let's see what the Wisdom of the Oracle has to say. Mm-hmm. What is their advice here? Why is at the bottom of the deck? Wow. Treasure Island. Wow. And the milk and honey. Yang. Okay, so, you know, this is clear, right? Treasure Island. Somebody's going to get their wish, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, I mean, Treasure Island is all about getting things coming true, right? Your treasure, right? All the things you ever wished for. It's a number nine, and the nine in the tarot is about wish fulfillment. The milk and honey is here, and uh, yeah, this is, this actually, uh, 51, you know, uh, actually, uh, I was going to say dissolves, reduces, or however, into a six. Sixes are about reciprocity, right, and kind of balance, kind of giving, give and take here. Um, Yang is here, and, and, and besides milk and honey, there's a rainbow here. Sweet things are coming, all right, Pisces? For your person, right? It could be with you, maybe, but this is these are their cards here. Um, some of these energies in the reading are going to be about you, of course, but I do feel like these oracle cards are primarily mostly for your person. Yang is about, uh, this is the number one, this is about like, um, it's almost like the magician. You see these hands here, and it's almost like this person or these hands are like casting a spell or, you know, trying to manifest, maybe grab something that they want. 
Yang is all, all about masculine energy and manifestation, right? Yeah, manifesting things and, yeah, and going after things. Like masculine energy uh, is the, usually the energy that, I beg your pardon, that kind of follows their dreams, right? And, you know, uh, trying to manifest here. Let's see why they have the devil here. Uh, I hope that they are... Uh, a Capricorn because their overall energy is the devil. <laughs> Why is that devil there for Pisces person here? Chariot and they have the Hierophant. So I feel like your person, you know, wow, let's get one more card here. Ace of Pentacles. So your person here, if they are not a Capricorn, they're stuck here. Yeah. Or they could be obsessed here, or they could be cheating, any kind of, you know, negative energy with the devil. There's nothing good about the devil. There's not one good thing except Capricorn, okay? There is, this is, can be jealousy, negative, 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 uh, negative feelings, uh, negative thoughts. Um, but it is usually bondage, somebody who is stuck, either by their own actions or by vices, right? I feel like your person is stuck about having how to move forward here. Yeah, how to have victory here in a union here. Yeah, and have a new beginning. The Five of Pentacles is their challenge. So they are, have either been left out or they are thinking of leaving somebody out. Clarify that Five of Pentacles for Pisces person. Page of Wands. So somebody, I feel like they, you know, they could be either thinking of leaving you out or you have left them out and gone on your merry way. The moon card, you could have done this because this could be you, the moon, right? And this could also be about a secret. High Priestess, wow, it could be another secret, and that could also be you, interestingly enough. One last card, the world card. So what is challenging them here is either leaving you out to walk on their own path, to have some type of a new beginning, possibly with a secret, or you have already left them out and they don't know how to have victory uh, or how to move forward maybe with you or with somebody else it, it can be that it can be like that okay ace of swords is uh in the root this is why it's all happening i just feel like they won't have victory or there is a truth here right let's see here queen of cups this is you pisces and uh the page of swords Okay, maybe they are thinking of having victory with you. Five of Swords. This is usually chaos and conflict. And this can be mind games, manipulation to, uh, yeah. The Five of Swords can be a third party, but it is, there's nothing good about it either. This, this is like, you know, this man has, he's kind of won this battle here. He's taken these swords here from these other people. He's smirking over it and while, while somebody looks like they might be crying over here. And, you know, this person might have won the battle, but they have uh, not really won the war here. Because the fives are about despair and change, right? Big change here. And also conflict here. Conflict and, uh, and chaos here. I just think that, you know, there was a truth here that your person was having a third party. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what's going on here. That they were, or they were playing games with you. Some type of manipulation you know there was too much conflict with them here it could have been over a third party clarify that five of swords for a pisces person five wow are these in the reverse here five of pentacles in the reverse here so this could be somebody could be trying to come back here yeah they could be trying to come back come back in from out of the cold here yeah wow five of pentacles twice now in the reading Wow, let's keep going here. The Six of Swords, uh, Six of Swords is in the recent past. Why is that Six of Swords there? This is about moving away from problems, basically. Seven of Pentacles, moving away from conflict. Three of Pentacles. I just think in the past that, you know, somebody, uh, somebody moved away from the troubles here. Yeah, because the Five of Pentacles can be endings, right? Somebody moved away here, and they were, while they were doing it, I feel like they, they could have been waiting to work it out with somebody else. Yeah, wow. Three of Pentacles. Clarify that Three of Pentacles for Pisces person. Four, four of Wands. So this is about, you know, this is about a union, right? The four walls within, you know, within someone's home, right? 
Now, what is, uh, what's on their mind is the Four of Cups here. Why do they have the Four of Cups on their mind? Nine of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Cups. So what to me, they're worried, they're thinking about some type of rejection here. Yeah, they're coming out of this Nine of Swords energy. I feel like they were crying the blues about somebody who rejected them. And now they want to they wanna give their cup. This could be to you. And this could be you just simply showing up here as the Knight of Cups. Because that is your, you know, Ace of Wands here. So what we have here on their mind here is there's, there was some rejection here or some kind of unhappiness here. And now they're thinking about a new beginning. The Six of Pentacles is showing up in the near future for them. The Lovers. Why do they have the Lovers? Why do they have the Lovers? Seven of Cups. See, yeah, I don't really like this energy for them. Ten of Wands here. I think in the near future they are, they could be having a hard time making a decision here. That could be the case. There could be confusion here. But I feel like, you know, uh, I just think somebody could have made a choice here that has caused a burden here, that is causing them a burden possibly in the near future. Wow. Yeah, and there could have been a third party for them, yeah, that has caused them, you know, brought them some grief here. Why is that Ten of Wands showing up for Pisces person? Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is about something that is not working out for them. Nine of Cups, rather, in the reverse. And um, I think that they're your person here. Yeah, this is about a breakup and a new beginning as well. I feel like all these readings are. I don't know if this is Mercury retrograde or what. But uh, at this point, I don't think we're in Mercury retrograde either. Not until the end of October. But... Uh, I think it's the end of October. Hmm. Okay. So I just think that, you know, wow. I think this is in the near future. I just think that, you know, somebody's have a somebody is your person is carrying a burden here about something that didn't work out for them, about a wish that they wanted, because this is in the reverse, the nine of cups. That's like a wish not granted, or something that was something they really wanted here, but it's not working for them. Yeah, because they're stuck about how to have victory. They don't know how to do it here. And they were left out. Just looking at your reading here, or hit their reading. And they might not, they, you know, the other thing about it is that they could be leaving you out and they are, it's a challenge for them or you are leaving them out. Yeah, that is true here. And, um, but somebody could be wanting to come back here. And this could be another union. I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. Yeah. This is another union. This is somebody else who they either want to return to or they want to that person to return to them who was part of a third party. This is how this is looking. Clarify the world card, and this is part of their challenge uh, that they were left out for some type of a ending and a new beginning. Clarify that world. Uh, what is the world there for Pisces person? The justice card. It's like a, it's like a divorce for some people. Yeah. Okay. The Five of Wands is now showing up in how they see themselves. So they're seeing themselves like in a tug of war, like a struggle maybe, right? But they could be seeing themselves like in this third party or there's too many people involved and it is posing a struggle for them. But look at their cards. Treasure Island, Milk and Honey, and Yang. Wow. Clarify the Five of Wands for Pisces person. They could also be stuck about you, Pisces. Yeah, you leaving them. Yeah, they could just be feeling stuck about it. Mm -hmm. And maybe you having victory here. Because I feel like somebody wants to come back here. And it could be you, but I feel like somebody wants to return here. Yeah. 
Because in the past, also, somebody was trying to, somebody left here and somebody's trying to figure out the situation here. Either how to work on things at home with you or about a third party. Yeah, and there's all kind of, you know, this is like, there's endings and ending here. There is, there's a third party here for sure. Six of Pentacles, three of Pentacles twice. Five of Pentacles twice. Actually, three of Pentacles once. But still, you know, we have, uh... Yeah, exactly. Four of Cups, Nine of Swords in the reverse. Uh, yeah. Okay, Five of Wands. Let's get a card on that Five of Wands for Pisces person. And this is how they see themselves. To me, they are seeing themselves as struggling to overcome and be alone and be single. Yeah. They could also be seeing themselves as Maybe in a third party, five of wands, too many people around them. And now they're having victory and they are being single. Let's get a card. They are being this nine of pentacles, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Abundant, and happy on my own. Clarify that nine of pentacles. The hermit. Yeah, you're dealing with, for some of you guys, been dealing with a Vir Virgo for a long time. And they are seeing themselves as, they could be seeing themselves as having victory here. In a struggle, but having victory and becoming single and, you know, maybe uh, they are moving towards somebody from the past here. I feel like they're seeing themselves as maybe in a third party, but I feel like they're seeing themselves as having victory and becoming single. Because there's not enough, like, sad cards here to say about their overcoming. Like, it's, it's, this is more of a positive, wow. Now, in their environment is the Ace of Wands. Why do they have the Ace of Wands in their environment, please? The devil, again, <laughs> the five of cups. So, you know, this is really interesting in their environment. They have a new beginning for themselves, right? And this would make a sense. This would make sense here. But I feel like they are still feeling shitty here because they're probably breaking up with you or you are leaving them. You left them, Pisces. I feel like you did here. Yeah. The moon and the high priestess, five of pentacles, Page of Wands. Yeah, and they're having a hard time. Uh, I just feel like they're, they could, you could be dealing with a fucker too. You could. Who like, who had victory with somebody else here. A devil. Uh, yeah, the chariot here. But they're having victory now. But I feel like they're also uh, kind of like in two worlds. Like having victory with a new beginning. But at the same time, I feel like they're grieving you at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Ace of Wands, Devil, Five of Cups. I feel like they are grieving you and having a new beginning. And I think you left them out because they had somebody. Can't say I blame you, right? Knight of Swords in their hopes and fears. Why do they have the Knight of Swords? In their hopes and fears. Temperance, Eight of Cups. So for some of you uh, Pisceans, your person was been, was uh, kind of fooling around with the Sag. I mean, in my readings, maybe not in you know other readings. But this could be, they could be trying to rush in and heal and walk away in their hopes and fears, right? And move on here. They could be trying to heal. But, you know, wow. I feel like they also could be hoping that a Sagittarius has not moved on from them. Yeah. And that a Sagittarius didn't cut them out. Knight of Swords, Temperance, Eight of Cups. They're worried that this other third party, although they are grieving you, yeah, I feel like in their environment they are grieving you, but they could also be worried about a new beginning because the devil is all about fear. It is. It is, you know, it is being in bondage, right? But there is always fear around it. Yeah, even for people, yeah, and most of the time the devil is attached to fear, right? Yeah. Clarify the Eight of Cups, please, for... Let's, let's keep going. Nine of Cups is in their potential outcome. They want this... Uh, they have, you know, their wish fulfillment. Excuse me, guys. They have their wish fulfillment in their potential in outcome. Income. <laughs> Thinking about money, I suppose. King of Cups in the reverse. King of Swords. So, wow. And I feel like this could be you, Pisces, in the reverse here. You could simply be cutting
bring them out. This is really interesting because they, I feel like they are getting their wish. Nine of Cups, potential outcome. Treasure Island, Milk and Honey, and Yang for them, right, in their, in their oracles. So they have good things coming. There's the rainbow. Here are the, you know, this is the box with all the wish come true, you know, and they're, they're kind of swirling around right here on this paradise island here, Treasure Island. But they're getting their wish here. But I think you could be cutting them out at the same time. Yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. You could be simply be showing up as the King of Cups in the reverse because you've had enough with them for some of you. You know, these cards, uh, especially core cards, can be in the reverse for many reasons, all right? You could be a perpetrator, you could be a victim, you could be maybe not doing this right, etc., etc. And this person could be a player, manipulator, king of cups in the reverse, because in the root is the five of swords, and this is all about somebody who plays mind games and manipulates. And so is the king of cups in the reverse. If this is not you showing up in the reverse, Pisces, the king of cups in the reverse is typically somebody who is a fucker. Somebody who is a liar and a manipulator, and sometimes they drink too much. They can be a drunk as well. One more card on the king of swords. I just think they are getting their wish here, but you could be cutting them out at the same time. This is their potential outcome. Yeah. Why is that king of swords here, please? I feel like they are focused on somebody else here. Yeah. But they are grieving you at the same time. Two of, two of wands. I think they're making a decision here on their potential outcome. A decision here, for some of you, they are making a decision here to, you know, they're at a crossroads in their life here, right? Like, what am I going to do here, right? I think Pisces kind of, you know, kicked me to the curb uh, for some of you guys. And the two of wands is, you know, it can be, uh, it can be just leaving. It can be walking away because now you are at a crossroads here in your life. That's what this man is doing. He's creating a new life for himself, right? He's holding in the world, the world in his hands, and he's saying, you know, am I going to go live in Malta or am I going to live in uh, Norway or Brazil? Okay, let me make up my mind here. All right, uh, where do I like the weather the best? Or, you know, where are the prettiest women? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> But the point is, is that, you know, I just feel like their potential outcome is that I feel like they are getting what they want, Nine of Cups, first card out, and their potential outcome. I think they're manipulators, and they are making a decision to kind of walk away here. I feel like that is the case here. They are at a crossroads here. Let's see. We're going to clarify with a new deck here, and in how they feel about you is the King of Wands. Uh, why do they feel that way about Pisces? The Justice card and the Two of Swords. I just feel like, you know, they could be thinking that you are feeling really stuck or blocked here, okay, by a King of Wands here, maybe that they have, you know, kind of gone off with here. Um, yeah, I just want to see if I can see... Uh, is the Queen of Wands in this reading? No, but the Temperance card is in this reading, which can be the Queen of Wands. But anyway, without signs here, I just think that uh, they feel stuck here. They can feel blocked by you. I feel that I feel like they feel stuck here, and that you got your justice because of a King of Wands. Yeah, clarify that Two of Swords. Why do they feel that way about Pisces, the Emperor? Could be dealing with the Aries. It could be an Aries here for some of you guys. I just feel like they feel stuck, and then they got their justice over you, right? The Ace of Swords is the underlying energies here. Why is the Ace of Swords the underlying energies? The Sun card, the Page of Pentacles. I just think there's a truth here, right? And it is clear now that somebody wants a new beginning with somebody, and the Page of Pentacles is like seeing the value, right? Yeah, and it is a new start, too. It is. All the pentacles can be about starts. Not the, all, all the pentacles, but all the pages, rather. The judgment card is what is unknown or hidden. Why is that there, please? Yeah, okay. So for me, as I was saying earlier in the reading, I think your person's giving somebody a second chance. But I think they are still kind of, I feel, I feel like they are uh, 
And I think this person was their third party, like was an empress, because the empress is in the reverse here, two of cups. This is what is unknown to you. I feel like they are sad. I do feel like your person, though, wants a second chance here with an empress, and this is what is unknown to you. But I feel like you know, they might not have came out and told you, but I feel like for some of you Pisceans, you kind of know here, uh, yeah, I, because there was a truth here, right? Ace of Swords twice in the reading. I feel like your person, they could be, what is hidden here, unknown here, they could be worried, yeah, they could be worried, sad, five of cups, that they're not going to have a second chance with somebody with their Two of Cups, who was their Empress. I feel like that's what they're worried about. Because in their hopes and fears, this is exactly how it looks, okay? Eight of, I'm sorry, the Eight of, uh, where's the deck at now, guys? <laughs> eight of Wands showing up, in, and that is their desires. Why do they desire the Eight of Wands? The Chariot and the Three of Swords. See, yeah, they want change, and they want victory here. And they, they want to move forward after struggles because of a third party. Or because of some heartbreak. But I feel like for some of you guys, they caused this. Clarify that three of swords, please, for a Pisces person. Page of Wands. They want change, and they want to walk a path here. They do. They want to walk a path. I feel like you've a new path, a new direction. I feel like you left them out. And now they're trying to, like, be this emperor that is showing up over here. Yeah, they're trying to... Uh, kind of pick up the pieces for themselves. Because they feel like you, yeah, I get it. You feel They feel like, for some of you guys, they feel like you blocked them or you left them out because of a king of wands, because of somebody here who was like a third party or a secret. And I feel like this could have been eons ago. This doesn't look like new energy at all. Yeah. This looks, if there was a third party here, and I'm almost, you know, pretty sure there was, this was a long time ago. And I think that over here, they feel like you are blocking them. Yes, I got it. They feel like you are blocking them. Yeah, because they're trying to set up some kind of a new thing with a king of wands for some of you. Yeah, doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be anybody who behaves like one, okay, somebody... And the King of Wands can sometimes, it can sometimes be a player, but it can be somebody who just kind of takes, you know, takes action in their life, right? Not somebody who says, you know, well, I've been thinking about this for two years. No, they, they don't. They just kind of, they just do things, and, you know, and for sometimes, sometimes they uh, go too fast, right? This is the fire signs are kind of known for that. But it can be somebody who is behaving like a fire sign. Now, their, their fear is, is the Ten of Cups. Why do they fear the Ten of Cups? I feel like they're fearing another union is not going to work for them. Yeah. Temperance. Yep. Knight of Pentacles. So for me, you're dealing, again, the same with this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And we see the Hermit in the reading. I'm almost, yeah, he's right here, the Hermit. Yeah, next to the Six of Cups. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who could be a Virgo who's dealing with somebody from their past. Yeah. And there was a third party, and they did have victory here. But I feel like there is healing here now. And I, like I said, this is a long time ago. But your person, they're going to get what they want over here. If you guys need a private reading, let me know, okay? Because this is not an easy reading. And I don't feel, I feel like for me, my readings for you, you know, these are generals. It could be because maybe there is some Piscean close to me uh, who is kind of dealing with the scenario here. But, you know... Because that can happen sometimes, right? And these are generals, right? So, yeah, generals are like, yeah. Anyway, um, this is their fears here. I feel like they're afraid things aren't going to work out with the Sagittarius for them. I, I feel like that's what they are worried about. For whomever this resonates, okay? Because we already saw Temperance in the reading. Where is Temperance here? I'm pretty sure Temperance is showing up in this reading already. Right here. Showing up again here. And uh, the King of Wands is, is over there. So for some of you, there is a fire sign. But there is somebody maybe who behaves like one, okay? Because, yeah, not everybody is, you know, dealing with a third party with an earth sign and a, pipe and, a, and a fire sign. But they're fearing here that they can't, maybe they can't heal a union. Yeah, definitely. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Why do they? They're not going to have balance in a union or 
compromise, right? Because temperance can simply be about compromise. Clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands, yeah. I feel like they're afraid that somebody, they can't heal a situation and somebody has already left, like left the building. They're, uh, and over here is their main focus, the Empress. Why is that their main focus? We saw the Empress in the re reverse already. Why is that Empress in the reverse? Nine of Swords. It's not in the reverse here, it's in the upright, the Fool. They're worried here that this Empress is, you know, if they're going to take a leap of faith with them. That's what they're worried about. This is their main focus. Get going to end the reading there, Pisces. If you would like your own reading, uh, you can certainly get one. And uh, the information is directly below. All the details are in the About tab. And if you guys got a message here, please give a thumbs up. And I'm wishing you so much power and light, uh, my beautiful, uh, intuitive, and elegant Pisces. I actually have a daughter who is who's both of those, okay? Thank you so much, guys.